It's about five miles to the Kirag Rocks, and it's going to take us about 25 minutes. Of course, 100 years ago, in open boats with oars, it would have taken a little bit longer. Years ago, on the 20th of February 1914, a Norwegian schooner called the Mexico struck the rocks of the Kirang Islands off the coast of Wexford. A lifeboat called the Helen Blake from the nearby town of Feathered was launched with its crew of 14 men. The Kenmore boat was trying to get up here on that night. Um, the wind would have been from the southeast, which was coming from this direction. So the seas would have been much bigger, and they would have been trying to tack against the wind, more or less straight into the wind. So they would have been trying to tack up, and with the heavy seas, it would have been impossible to make progress against the, against the, the wind. So in 1914, they would have been using open boats um, with two masts uh, and, and sails and 10 oars. And they would have had two dagger boards, one each end of the boat, which they were able to trim the sails, trim the boat with to make best progress against the sea. The Helen Blake eventually arrived at the islands, but the lifeboat was struck by three heavy waves and was dashed to pieces upon the rocks. Nine of the crew drowned. It's very hard to imagine on a day like this how it must have been uh, on that terrible night. Of course, as we know, the sea can uh, change its, its attitude on the coin and um, it could turn into what it was that terrible night 100 years ago on this island. In ideal conditions, um, on the night in question, the Kilmore boat coming up from Kilmore should have made it in about an hour if he was carrying the tide. But uh, on the night in question, there was just no way he was ever going to get up. The few surviving lifeboatsmen who were able to scramble onto the island 
then managed to haul the crew of the Mexico onto the rocks before their ship broke up. Two of the crew of the Mexico made it ashore in their own ship's lifeboat. Um, when they went to ground they lowered the lifeboat and two crew got in to man the boat. Um, but they were washed away by a big wave and lost their oarlocks so couldn't make it back to the ship so just drifted ashore. Six hours later, we're heading home. 